Man United's 4 0 win over Chelsea was a masterclass in counter attacking football from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's team. And we saw some real signs about how United are going to play this year. But what is Man United's best formation for this season? What are the best tactics as well? And who should be playing? What I'm going to do in this video is run through what I think is United's best starting 11 to suit that style that Solskjaer clearly wants his team to play. Now, before I begin, make sure you subscribe if you're new to United People's TV and get involved in a community. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video as well. That always helps. But let's get into this one. So the first point to discuss is what formation will suit United most? And clearly, it seems that we're going to be having a counter-attacking style this season. We had a 4-2-3-1 to start with against Chelsea, but every time we went into defence, switched more to a 5-4-1, leaving Martial up front to hit hard on the counter. And it worked. There was so little time between winning the ball in defence and United scoring against Chelsea on two or three occasions. And it really, really worked. Exploding on the counter-attack is what is going to work for United next season. And with Pogba sort of playing in what looks like a midfield two with Scott McTominay, he's deeper. He finds the ball deeper and he can look up for those balls to the likes of Lingard, Martial and Rashford. And it worked against Chelsea. But in terms of the formation, I think it's quite obvious. That 4-2-3-1 on paper, switch to a deeper 5-4-1 when we don't have the ball and explode on the counter. But who should be in that starting eleven? Now, obviously, David De Gea is going to be in goal. I think, worryingly, he made seven saves against Chelsea, which was more than any other keeper in the Premier League that weekend. That's simply because our midfield was not protecting our defence enough. In terms of last-ditch defending, the likes of Maguire and Wan-Bissaka both made outstanding amounts of tackles. But we don't really want them to have to make those tackles. We need our defence to be protected by our midfield. Now, that has to improve, but De Gea certainly in there. And at left back, Shaw, for me, he's still easily the first choice left back at the club. But the arrival of wan is going to have to make Shaw pull his socks up because he's going to get exposed by wan performances, which are just a level far above where Shaw is at the moment. I hope that that makes him improve. But having Harry Maguire alongside him is going to give Shaw that protection to run forward and make those runs on the outside and overlap whoever's playing left wing. Hopefully that makes him improve going forward, but he has to make sure he's back in defence, in position as well. But he does have the safety net that Harry Maguire brings to him. And Harry Maguire brings a safety net to this entire team. He was everything that I wanted him to be in that game against Chelsea. Composed, aggressive when he needed to be, sat back, brought the ball out of defence, found those passes between defence and midfield instead of just going sideways. He would pass it forward a lot. Maguire, as I said, was everything you wanted him to be. And he did it without breaking into a sweat. Now that's the mark of a top draw centre-back. And the early signs there are that we've signed an absolute diamond in Maguire. We all know and knew that he was going to improve United's defence. And the hope was, and, it, and still is, that he will be the sort of Van Dijk signing that Liverpool had. From that game against Chelsea, he can do exactly that. And not only does he improve the... Defence as a whole, but individually, Shaw will be more protected. And alongside him, Victor Lindelof will be a better centre-back because his partner is Maguire. That's the one thing that Lindelof has lacked at United so far in his career, is a proper top-draw partner. He's now got that in Maguire. He doesn't have to shift between Bay and then he gets injured, then Smalling comes in, then he gets injured and Rojo and Jones come in. If they're fit, Maguire and Lindelof will be United's starting centre-back partnership this year. That's set. And we haven't been able to say that for a long time about United centre-back partnership. And for me, on paper, it looks like the best partnership we've had in a decade. But Lindelof, just like Maguire, is comfortable playing with the ball at his feet. Comfortable bringing it out from the back. And we saw that against Chelsea. Our whole back line was comfortable passing it around far more than in recent years. When it's just gone to Smalling, gone to Shaw, gone back to Smalling, then gone back to De Gea and he's, lo he's looped it long. That didn't really happen as much against Chelsea. It happened sometimes, but we didn't need to because we were far more comfortable with the ball at our feet. So Maguire and Lindelof, they're going to work so well together. And I hope Lindelof improves this season just as much as he did last season. And with Maguire alongside him, maybe he will. And at right back, I've gone for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. <laughs> of course I've gone for Wan-Bissaka. It's really hard not to overstate how much of an impact he's already had on this United team because we haven't had a proper right back for so long. What we're seeing from Wan-Bissaka is almost magical. 
You know, in defence, he seems impenetrable. It's very hard to get past him. His tackles are well-timed, and he's intelligent, and he's smart with his decision-making. Going forward as well, I think he offers more at this point than anybody thought he would. I think he looks good. We got a goal from the right-hand side when Pereira whacked it in as well for Martial with the second goal. We're going to have a threat down the right-hand side this season, and that's largely because we're going to have wan Saka on the overlap. But just as importantly, he'll be back in defence and in position when he needs to be. wan Saka, for me, I think is going to be our signing of the season. And he really looks like a complete player. But as the year progresses, he's going to get better and more confident going forward. And that's going to be the big thing that gets added to his game at United, I think. So that's our back five. And our back five, for me, sounds and looks completely solid. And it's, it's set in stone. And I'd probably argue the same about our midfield too as well. And Scott McTominay, for me, has got to be the most important midfielder, I think, for United this season. He's got to be the legs in that midfield. Because Pogba won't be that runner. Pogba's going to be tasked with getting the ball and finding the players going forward. McTominay will be tasked with getting that ball, with stopping the attacks, with intercepting the opposition and protecting our defence, being that screen in front of the defence. And I think McTominay will do that very very well. He's very good at the aggressive front press, which United are good at at the moment. But when it comes to protecting that defence, we do need to get smarter, more organised, and that will come in time. And I think he'll improve. I would play Pogba alongside him in a midfield two, and I think they'll work well together. And for me, one of the best times of Pogba at United was right at the start when Matic was in good form, and they played as a midfield two. Maybe we're going to see that sort of same thing again but this time with Scott McTominay. And as I said, I think he's going to be United's most important midfielder because he's going to be the legs. He's going to be the runner in a midfield which otherwise doesn't have that much movement. And I would play Pogba alongside him in a midfield too. If you look against Chelsea, Pogba came deep so often to receive the ball. And I think he'll be doing that a lot this season, receiving the ball deep and looking for those passes over the top because we're going to hit on the counter-attack. Now, I'm excited to see how Pogba plays this season. Two assists against Chelsea... And some would argue he didn't even have that good a performance, but that's the sort of player he is. He can create those moments of sheer quality that other players in this team simply cannot do. Now, I'm sure he can improve and everybody else would improve around him, but I think that partnership, Matomine and Pogba, is the best that this midfield is going to have this season. And I would say, if you look at Pogba's start of his career at United, with Matic in that midfield too, they play very well together. Now, I want to see that from Matomine and Pogba. But as much as I would say that back five is set with De Gea, with Shaw, Maguire and Lindelof and wan Saka, with McTominay and Pogba in front of them, that number 10 role for me is a question mark in this United team. I think that's where we're going to see the weakness in the transfer window, massively. Because Bruno Fernandes in there, problem solved. But for me, on paper there, I'm putting Jesse Lingard. And it's simply because of his movement. This is going to be a very dynamic, and very fluid front four. And we saw that against Chelsea. We saw Rashford back in defence sometimes. We saw Lingard back in defence sometimes. But they broke out on the counter-attack. And that's why Lingard's going to suit this number 10 role much better than someone like Juan Mata, who is a far better number 10 on paper, but he's just too slow. You're going to need that five-yard acceleration. And that's why Lingard's going to suit it better. Now, Andreas Pereira, he played there a little bit. But on paper, I'm going to go for Jesse Lingard here. Now, this is going to cause a bit of contention, I suppose. But let me know what you think about that in the comments. Who would you play in that number 10 role? And on the left wing, it's far easier. Anthony Martial is going to be our left wing easily this season. And I think if you look down the left, we've got Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire, Paul Pogba and Martial. Down the left is where United have always carried a threat in recent years. And I think we're going to have even more of a threat this season. He took a very good striker's poacher goal against Chelsea. Was in the right place at the right time and he got the finish. Sure, he had another couple of shots that went wayward, but it's the start of the season. Strikers rarely start off hot. He is a confidence player, and I'm sure as the season progresses, Martial will keep getting better. He's got that number nine back, and that was the best Martial in his first year. It was his 16 goals he scored? But he was so hard to defend against. Once he's got that confidence back, I think United will be looking very good down that left-hand side. And down the right-hand side, I didn't expect to put him in here, but I am going to put Dan James. Now, I think it's a bit unfair to put him into this starting eleven straight away. I also think it would be unfair to put Mason Greenwood there. But both of them are far more suited to that role than someone like Andreas Pereira, who, to his credit, got an assist against Chelsea. But 
this team and this formation is all about the counter-attacking play. That's the way I can see United this season because we've now got a back five that you can have confidence in, that when we're defending, we're going to defend well. And then we'll have Pogba who looks up to find the runs of James, of Martial, of Rashford and Lingard. And that's why movement is so crucial to this attack because Dan James may well be down as a right winger, but he'll switch to the left. Martial will switch wings. One of them might drop into number 10 at some points. They're all going to move in between and that makes it very hard for a defence to set up against a team which proves so unpredictable in their movements in attack. And you saw that against Chelsea. So much space and that was created by movement. Now up front, it's very easy. That's Marcus Rashford. He got two goals against Chelsea. Two fantastic goals in their own right. The penalty right into the top corner. And that goal, wonderful pass from Pogba, ice cool touch and an even better finish from Rashford. And so much is expected of him this year because Lukaku's left. A player who scored over 40 or 50 goals for United in the last couple of seasons has left the club and we haven't replaced him. So Rashford, Martial, Greenwood, Lingard, James, they've all got to chip in. But Rashford is where Solskjaer is going to put most of the responsibility. And he delivered against Chelsea. I can't wait to see what he does this season because so much has been said about whether Rashford's better suited to the wing or whether he's good enough to be United's main striker. Now, last year, in that three-month period when Solskjaer came in, Popper was incredible. So was Rashford. And I hope that this season we can see that Rashford again. And if that first game's anything to go by, two goals against Chelsea, we're going to see that in abundance. I think he's capable of scoring 20 goals in all competitions. And in this formation... He suits it perfectly. You saw him busting a gut to get back and help Shaw in defence and then sprinting forward as well. He embodies the sort of attitude that Solskjaer wants in his team and he's a crucial aspect to this attack. Martial, Lingard, James and Rashford might not be the best attacking four on paper when you compare it to our rivals, but if they have the right attitude, the right movement and the right desire... It's going to be very, very hard to defend against them, especially if United hit hard and fast on the counter-attack. So I would say that is United's strongest 11 and the strongest formation and style that we're going to have this season. I think we're going to be a very much a counter-attacking team. Play to your strengths. Now we've got our strength in defence. Maguire coming in and Wan-Bissaka coming in and playing alongside Shaw and Lindelof with De Gea. That's a very, very good back five. One that's going to be capable of soaking up pressure, then feeding Pogba, who can then look up and find Lingard, find Martial, Rashford and James on the counter-attack. The style seems obvious. The starting 11 for me, question marks in certain positions, and I'm sure it will change across the season. But that back five is sorted. I would say McTominay and Pogba, they're absolutely sorted. Rashford and Martial, they're sorted. I think we might change and switch Lingard and James, though. But let me know what your best starting eleven would be. Who would be in the team? What would the formation be? What would the tactics be? Let me know in the comments below. But if that Chelsea game is anything to go by, it's going to be a very exciting season for United. And we always knew that we made the right defensive signings. But maybe... Maybe our attacking options are going to do a little bit better than we all thought they would. And if they do, we're in for a good season ahead. But as I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. Until next time though, take it easy.